Hey everyone, and welcome to this full step-by-step Gated.io tutorial. In today's video, I'll give you a walkthrough on how to use Gated.io. I will show you how to create your own account, and even get a free 20% fee discount, how to verify your identity, and how to set up your account security. After we've done all that, I'll explain how to deposit money and crypto on Gated.io, how to withdraw crypto from Gated.io, how to actually buy and sell cryptocurrencies, where to find your fund overview, and how to read your assets analysis. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is to go over to sign up and then you want to decide which username you would like to use, which email address you would like to use to register your account, and then you have to decide on your password. And if you would like to support my channel and even get a 20% free fee discount, make sure to enter the referral ID 370 one five four six and once you've done that you need to click on the checkbox to certify that you're 18 years of age or older and then you just want to click on next you then have to set your fund password this is a password you will have to use every time before being able to buy or sell cryptocurrencies and you will also have to use this code before being able to withdraw funds from your account so please make sure to not forget this code and once you've done that you can then go ahead and click on create account now before you can actually use your account, you'll see that you have to activate your account. So to activate your Gate.io account, you need to go over to your email, and then you want to open up the activate your account email, and click on the link right here. You'll then see that your account has been verified, and you'll then have to log in into your account. And because of safety matters, Gate.io has decided to instantly activate your 2FA code, which means that you'll get a two-factor authentication code sent to your email. So once again, you need to go over to your email, copy the code, and then you want to go ahead and paste it in. And once you've done that, you'll be logged in into your account. You'll then see the homepage of Gate.io. And the second thing I will show you in today's video is how to verify your identity, also known as Key IC registration. So you just need to go over to Key IC now, or if you don't see this pop-up, you need to go over to this icon in the top right and click on Key IC Identification right here. You'll then need to verify your identity now by clicking on Individual Verify Now or if you're an organization, click on Verify Now on the right. Now to complete your Key IC registration, you just need to fill in your country, full name, full name once again, and then the rest of the information right here. Now once you've gone through the process, your account will be verified. Now just to be clear, the reason I don't verify my account is because I've already got an account on which I'm verified. And on Gated.io you can verify two accounts to one identity. Now with that being clear, once you've actually verified yourself on Gated.io, the next thing you need to do is to improve your security. So you need to go over to security settings. By the way, you can go over to right here and click on security verification. And you'll then see that your current safety strength is too weak. So to increase your security, I will show you how to enable the two-step verification and how to connect your account to the Google Authenticator. Now you need to go over to login to step verification, then you want to click on email code and fill in your email code. So just click on send email code, then go over to your email and copy your code, then paste it in and click on confirm. You'll now see that the login to step verification has been enabled and the same goes for the email setup login, which means that when you log in, you have to fill in your two-factor authentication code sent to your email. Now to connect the Google Authenticator to your Gated.io account, you need to click on Immediate Binding, and then you want to click on Click Here. But before you do that, just a quick notice, the TOTP code from the Google Authenticator is needed every time you use your Gated.io account. Do not delete it on your Google Authenticator or install the Authenticator from your device. Now with that being clear, just click on Click Here, and then you need to go over to your smartphone and open up either the App Store or, if you're using an Android device, the Play Store. You'll then need to go over to Search, and search for the Google Authenticator. Now just make sure to install the app, and once you've done that, you need to open up your Google Authenticator. But because I've already got an account, you'll see that there's quite a few codes on my Google Authenticator. Now what you need to do, is to go over to the plus button in the bottom right, and click on Scan a QR Code. You'll then need to make sure that you're scanning the QR code visible on your computer screen right here. Or if that's not an option, click on enter a setup key and make sure to enter your key. Now as you guys can see, on the bottom of my screen on my phone, you'll see Lucasen Tutorials Gate.io. 
which means that my Google Authenticator has been enabled. However, it's not set up yet, because when you scroll down, you'll see that you need to fill in the six digit code generated in the Google Authenticator. However, I'd recommend you first enter your FIN password and your email code. Now once you've filled in your FIN password and the email code, make sure to go over to the Google Authenticator and fill in your TOTP. For me, it's 109587, and then you just want to click on Enable Two-Factor Authentication. And you'll then see that your two-factor authentication has been connected. Because when you go over to Security Verification, you'll see that your current safety strength is medium. Now you can also choose to enable the SMS setup, which is the same as the email verification. However, you'll get another two-factor authentication code sent to your phone number. But if you want to, just click on Immediate Binding, fill in your information, click on Send SMS, and then all you need to do is to click on Set Up SMS. Now that your account security is set up, I'll go over to my main account and show you how to deposit money, how to deposit crypto, and how to withdraw crypto. So if you want to deposit money onto your Gate.io account, what you need to do is to go over to Buy Crypto, and then you need to decide if you would like to deposit using your credit card or using your bank transfer. So when you click on bank transfer, you'll see that you need to buy digital currencies. Now in contrary to other exchanges, this isn't really as easy as it seems. Because as you can see, you need to verify your identity, make a bank transfer and then you're able to start trading. However, once again, you need to completely verify your identity. So if you would like to learn how to deposit on Gate.io using Binance, make sure to watch this video I've made on how to do that. However, if you would like to deposit cryptocurrencies onto this exchange, what you need to do is to go over to Wallet and click on Deposit. You'll then see a screen looking similar to this one. But before you decide which coin or which chain you would like to use to deposit crypto onto your account, you need to go over to another exchange, so the exchange you would like to withdraw from. For me, this exchange will be Binance. However, if you're using any other exchange, you will need to go through the same process. And what you need to do is to go over to a withdrawal button. Now on Binance, this button is located on their Finance spot page. So once you're on your Finance spot page, you need to click on the withdrawal button in the top right. And you'll then see a page looking similar to this one. Now you want to go over to Select Coin, click on the coin selector, and search for the cryptocurrency you would like to transfer from Binance to Gate.io. So for me, this currency will be USDT. You can then go over to Gate.io, make sure that the same cryptocurrency is selected, and then you want to select the chain you would like to use for your transfer. Now if you're not sure which chain to use, just go over to Binance, click on Network, and you can then view all the networks that support transferring the coin you have selected. You can also view the fees you have to pay for using this chain or transferring the coin. And in this case, when you go over to Gate.io, you'll see that using the TRC20 or Tron network is free. So I'll go ahead, copy my address, and then you can go over to Binance and paste in your wallet address. Then you want to click on Network, and you'll see that all the unmatched networks are automatically removed. So I'll go ahead and select the Tron or TRC20 network. You'll then need to fill in the withdrawal amount, so the amount you would like to withdraw. You can also click on Max to select all of your available holdings. And if you would like to withdraw from your funding wallet, please make sure to address that right here. And then you can just go ahead and click on Withdrawal. You'll then see the withdrawal confirmation pop-up. And please double check all the information to make sure you haven't made any mistakes. And then you can just click on Continue. You'll then have to fill in your two-factor authentication codes, send to your email, your phone, or maybe generate it in the Google Authenticator. And once you've done that, you just need to click on Submit. And if you would like to withdraw cryptocurrencies from Gate.io, once again, you need to go over to Wallet, click on Withdraw, and you'll then see a page looking similar to the page I just showed you. You need to go over to Coin Code, and then you need to select the cryptocurrency you would like to withdraw. Now for this example, I'll be using RSR. And once you have selected the currency, you'll see all the chains available. Now in this case, there's only one chain available. However, if you're not sure which chain to use, you need to go over to the other exchange. So the exchange you would like to transfer to. For me, this will be Binance again. So just go over to the deposit button. On Binance, the deposit button is located on the Finance spot page in the top right. And then you need to go over to Select Coin, click on the coin selector, and search for the cryptocurrency you would like to deposit onto Binance. You'll then see all the networks available. So let's say I was to transfer USDT, you'll see that there's multiple networks available, and you'll then need to look for chains that are available on the exchange you're using and Gate.io. 
So if you haven't generated an address already, click on get address, copy your wallet address, and then go over to gate.io and paste it in. Now please make sure to also select the right chain, so the chain you have selected on Binance, because if you transfer your cryptocurrency to the address of another coin, you will lose all the funds you're transferring, and the same goes for if you're selecting one network on Binance and another on gate.io, or vice versa. Now once you've filled in the address, you can scroll down and fill in the amount you would like to withdraw. And if you would like to transfer all of the holdings, make sure to drag your mouse over the full amount or the maximum amount and then drag it onto the amount. Now the last thing you need to do is to fill in your email code and the two-factor authentication code generated in the Google Authenticator. And once you've done that, you just need to click on submit request. Now once you've got funds on your gated.io account, it's likely you would like to buy or sell cryptocurrencies. So the most common cryptocurrency that people use as kind of like the fiat currency is USDT. It's a stable coin and most of the pairs available on gated.io are indeed USDT pairs. So to buy cryptocurrencies, you need to go over to market, click on market price, and then you need to select the pair you would like to buy or trade in. For me this will be USD with the icon right next to it, because those are the USDT or USD pairs. Now once you have selected the pair you would like to buy in, you need to go over to the search bar and search for the ticker symbol of the currency you would like to buy or sell. So let's say I would like to buy BNB, I'll go ahead, fill in BNB and you'll then see all the spot, futures and EFT pairs available. So the first spot pair is the BNB USDT, it's also the pair I would like to trade, but below that you'll see that you can also buy BNB using USD or Bitcoin. So click on the pair you would like to trade in and you'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Now when you scroll down a bit, you'll see the buy and the sell section. So if you would like to buy cryptocurrencies, you need to go over to the buy section, fill in the price you would like to buy for. You can also click on the drop down arrow and select the less price plus 1%, 3% or 5% and then you need to fill in the amount of BNB or any other cryptocurrency you would like to buy. You can also decide to click on 25, 50, 75 or 100% of your holdings. And then you just need to click on buy USDT to BNB and you'll then see this order. Now like I said, before being able to buy or sell cryptocurrencies on this exchange, you need to fill in your fund password. So when you click on confirm order, you'll see that you need to fill in your fund password and you can then go ahead and click on submit. And if you would like to sell your cryptocurrency, you need to go over to the sell section, fill in the price you would like to sell for. If the price is lower than the current market price, your cryptocurrency won't be sold until the market price reaches the price you fill in. And if the market price does not go down to, in this case, 560, I won't be able to sell my BNB. Now you just need to fill in the amount and then click on sell. On gate.io, you can also place what's known as a stop limit order. So you need to go over to the buy or sell section and then click on stop order. Now because this kind of order is more complicated, I've made a separate video step by step teaching you how to use this order and if you would like to watch that, you can click on the video in the top right. Now that you know how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, I will show you how to see your fund overview. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is to go over to wallet and click on funds overview. You'll then see the total asset value, today's yield, and below that you'll see the funds in your spot account, your margin account, your contract account, and all the other accounts available. Now because all of my funds are located in my spot account, I'll go over to my spot account and you can then see all the cryptocurrencies you're holding. So the available amount, the total, the USD ratio and the cumulative gains. Now if there's a specific cryptocurrency you would like to deposit, withdraw or trade, just go over to the action section and click on one of the three buttons. Another useful feature on gate.io is the dust swap. Using this you can select all the small amount of cryptocurrencies you have available in your wallet and trade those in to one specific currency. So I'll go ahead and select all of the cryptocurrencies that are available in my wallet and you can then just click on swap. Then you want to click on OK and you'll then just need to fill in your fund password. And once you've done that, click on confirm and submit and you'll then see that your dust swap has succeeded. And to view your assets analysis, you just need to go over to funds overview and then you want to click on assets analysis right here. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Over on this page, you'll see all the information about your funds. You can also select the period you would like to view. You can then view the assets value, the composition of assets, the cumulative earnings, 
and the earnings composition. You can also see your holding currency, where you need to select the currency you would like to view your holdings of. And you'll then see an interesting graph telling you when you bought or sold cryptocurrencies. Now if you've still got any questions at all, or if I didn't explain something clearly enough, please ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.